Welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. Today I'm going to show y'all how to make a good old kittle of hamburger soup. Mm, it's so good and it's simple and it'll stick to your ribs. And I'm telling y'all, one of my childhood soups right here that I absolutely love. Good old hamburger soup. Stick around, I'm going to make it for y'all. All right, mountain friends, so go and get started on this delicious uh, homemade soup, hamburger soup. When I was growing up, we just called it uh, homemade soup, but it basically is what uh, a lot of people call hamburger soup. And we got this a lot in school, at the school lunches, back when school lunches were good. And mom, mom made this for us a lot, and uh, I am going to just show y'all how I do it and uh, you can do this a lot of different ways. I'm doing it with a lot of fresh vegetables today. Uh, I have an onion cut up. This is one onion. This is about probably about maybe a cup and a half of carrots and about a cup and a half of celery. And um, you can use any kind of vegetables with this kind of soup. Uh, I'm going to be using a can of green beans that I got um, drained. I'm going to be using some garlic, about three cloves, uh, and I'm going to use better than bouillon, uh, beef base, roasted beef base. I'm going to use about a tablespoon. It's really good flavor. I love the better than bouillon kind. I use the chicken too a lot and the vegetable. I'll be using some Worcestershire sauce. Uh, I'm going to use a can of tomato juice. This is my home can tomato juice. There's about, a four, about four cups there. And I'm going to be adding some water to uh, to the soup, probably about maybe three more cups of water. I just eyeball it. And there's not a lot of spices in this soup, but I do like a little bit of basil. A good bay leaf would be good in this soup. And uh, after it simmers a little while, the vegetables kind of get um, going and it gets a rolling bowl. I usually add a cup of elbow macaroni because I like macaroni in mine. It's just the way we've always made it now some people call this goulash too um i think goulash may be a little i don't know i really don't know much the difference between goulash or homemade soup but i don't know i just know it's good and so i've got a pound of hamburger meat in here uh, browning up and it's really lean this is really lean hamburger uh and so I won't be a draining it or nothing. I'm just going to, and I put a little bit of olive oil in my, in my um, kittle here. This is a cast iron enamel coated kittle. It's a Pioneer Woman brand. I love this kittle. Because these are fresh vegetables. I'm not using uh, canned or uh, pre-cooked vegetables. Uh, I like a little cabbage in my soup sometimes. It'd be good with some chopped up cabbage. I don't have any cabbage, I look, but um, it's just good either way. Get my vegetables in there. That way, give them time to cook through. I just cook them right along with my hamburger meat. And I'll add the beans a little later. And I spilled an onion on the burner. I smell it. Y'all, when Kenzie was little, speaking of carrots, when Kenzie was little, she's just a little bitty old thing, and she would call carrots, carrots, carrots. She put, she'd say it through her little nose, and she put an N in it, like carrots. She'd say carrots. She'd say, Mommy, I want a carrot. She's just a little bitty old thing. This made me think of it when her calling them carrots. I'm telling you, I'm proud of her, but it still hurts my heart to see her grow up. It's just the way it is, but thankfully she's getting to grow up. Now I ain't gonna add any salt and pepper just yet because I'm gonna be using some Worcestershire sauce and it's better than bouillon stuff. It's got salt in it. And my home canned juice, I did put a little salt in that. The beans have some salt in it. I'm not going to salt it just yet. 
because I don't want too much salt. And now I'm gonna add my garlic. Put that garlic in there. And I love this soup. It's one of them kind of soups that you can just eat without anything. I'm gonna have it with some cornbread today. I love it with cornbread. I love it with uh, just uh, peanut butter sandwiches, grilled cheese. I'm gonna do about three cloves of garlic. Um, and I'm using fresh garlic. I think it just is much better if you use fresh, I think. This little apparatus too was a gift from one of my viewers. And I've had this a while and it's handy y'all. And let me scrape this out. And put this right. Yeah. That was a small clove. So I ended up, I had about three cloves plus another small clove of garlic in there. Yeah. And you just want to saute all them. Oh, it smells good. Oh, Lordy, I can't wait to eat it. And you just want to. Oh, and I'm going to add, I mean, about forgot. I am going to add about, there's about probably three cups of chopped uh, potatoes in here uh, that I'm going to add as well to the soup. You can leave that out if you want. I just, just dice them about, about yay big like that right there. And I miss one, I'll chop it. But I'm adding some uh, chopped taters too. There's about probably, I don't know, maybe one, two, two cups, maybe two and a half cups. It's about three little medium, small like little red potatoes is what I, is what I cut up. So just to give you a ballpark part figure. Y'all, I grew up making this. We didn't use a recipe. So it, it's, um, if you've been following me at all, you know that I cook a lot by memory and a lot by uh, just, uh, I like showing everybody by video. <laughs> it's easier for me just to show somebody as I go. And so it's kind of hard for me to get some exact measurements, but like I always say, if you just put it all together like I'm doing it, it don't really matter. Recipes are important. I ain't knocking recipes, but you can learn to cook without them. Um, and if you just kind of just more, I guess the, the more the practice you get, the better you'll get at it. But you don't always have to have a written recipe. If you just put some stuff together, you can cook on your own. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this saute just a little longer about a couple more minutes and then when i come back we'll add some more to it okay all right y'all it's been a couple minutes and i'm just going to go ahead and start adding the rest of the stuff in here i want to do my tomato juice uh so if you don't have like one of these quart jars this is my home uh, tomato juice that's about four cups of tomato juice you could do like a whole can of tomato juice would still be all right okay i usually use that if i don't if i'm not using my own i'll go ahead and buy like a can of tomato juice i like red gold brand i think it tastes more like home juice so got that added in there i'll do my can of green beans i love green beans not going to add the macaroni yet okay because this has to cook a little while longer. You want it to cook, uh, bring it up and let it simmer at least about 10 minutes. And when it is a rolling simmer bowl, you want to add your macaroni in. If you add macaroni to, uh, to something before it comes up to boil, your macaroni can get um, kind of hard. It's kind of weird, but. So this is the better than bouillon that I'm adding. And I'm doing about that much, which is probably <clears throat> probably about a couple of tablespoons. This is going to add some really good flavor. Uh, this brand is very concentrated, so there's a lot of flavor in that. That's all I'm going to add. If you don't have that, you can just add some beef broth to this. Instead of the water, extra water, add you like a can of beef broth or stock. I... 
I recommend stock over beef broth any day because stock has more flavor. This has like the flavor of stock. This is actually roasted beef flavor. I use it a lot in my chili too. So now I'm gonna add some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about four cups of water. This quart jar is about four cups of water. So in goes the water. Now your flavors won't be watered down because you got it, you added that beef, adding that beef uh, bouillon, uh, this better than bouillon in here make sure that you're when you add water you're not watered down your flavor okay because you don't want that uh you don't want watered down soup so i'm just gonna you could add a can of corn if you wanted to add corn in here i want to do a few dashes of worcestershire sauce and i want to add my taters Oh boy, it's gonna be good. See, look at that, a good old pot of soup stick to your ribs. Now I'm gonna taste it. Let me give it a taste. Hmm. Now I'm gonna put me some basil in here. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon. I don't want a lot because I don't want it to take on like a like an Italian, like a minestrone type soup. I don't want it to take on that that flavor, but I still wanted to add a little bit of seasoning to it because there's seasoning actually in this better than uh, beef bouillon. There's seasoning in that, and there's seasoning in your Worcestershire sauce too. And the longer something simmers like this, when you've got um, when you got um, <clears throat> spices in anything the longer it simmers the more uh, your flavors come together I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper probably about a half teaspoon let me wash my spoon off let me give it another taste Mmm, it's good. So, now I'm just going to bring it back up to a simmer. And just let it, um, I'm going to let it simmer for, probably for about, um, once it comes to a simmer again, I'm going to cover it and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to add the macaronis. All right, y'all, the soup is... Cooking really good, so I'm gonna just reduce the heat to about a low, to about a two on my stove. And I'm going to now add the uh, elbow macaroni. Give it a stir. And now I'm just gonna cover it back up and let it just simmer on low for about probably 20, about 20 minutes maybe. Everything should be done and all the flavors should be together. And we should have some good old, good old soup, good old hamburger soup to eat. It'll be so good. All right, y'all. We're gonna eat some soup here, and you got both of us here gonna do a little taste test. <laughs> tasting, yeah. For you guys, the soup is good. Now, Daddy ain't much of a soup man. It's it's no secret. No. And, but he will eat it. <laughs> if I have to. <laughs> if you have to. But he likes his soup pretty I, good. I can eat soup. It's just. Yeah. I'm, he, he I'm likes a meat and taters kind of guy. He likes chili better, but uh, uh, chili, yeah. Yeah, he loves chili, but this is, I love this soup. This is the kind of soup that uh, I grew up eating. He didn't yeah. hardly grow up 
eating some of the foods that I did, I had more. <laughs> he yeah. he kind of ate a little bit more junk food than I did growing up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, but he's going to eat his soup, and I'm going to eat mine, y'all. This is so good. It is good soup. It's, I've I've already been yeah. biting into it, so. Mm hmm. That is good, y'all. He puts a little cheese on his. Uh, I like mm. cheese on mine, but I'm going to eat mine with a peanut butter sandwich. And it's good with cornbread, good with whatever you want to. Crackers. I like hot. it crackers. It is hot. Not but hot. I like to dip my sandwich. Your what? Sandwich. <laughs> Where we're from, we call them sandwiches. So. <laughs> <laughs> I like to dip my sandwich down in it. Mmm. It's good stuff. It's really good. It's great on this. It's cool evening now. Yeah, it's cloudy rainy. and hazy, rainy. It's been good with grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah, I'm, oh, I just made a mess. So it's good, y'all. So anyway, soup's all done. It's so good. I hope y'all make it. If you do, if you make any of my recipes, um, you all can tag me in anything you make on your pages. Just do the at sign. Mountain cooking with Missy and it should tag me and it just shows it should show right up. So uh, I appreciate that and Appreciate everyone. Yeah. Thank you all for everything. So Sorry about the lighting the uh, hats over my face. But anyway, we're gonna finish eating <laughs> our supper And I hope y'all make this soup if you do let me know I will be sharing the recipe go under the photos um, section of my page under the albums titled recipes and I'll be sharing it a little later. So, but you can always go back and catch this video. And I did a pretty good description of making it. So, so, all right. Thank you all for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy, where it's nothing fancy. <laughs> just good just eating. Just good eating. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. You have to turn it off.